Welcome to Aster CMI Hospital, where the world comes for international healthcare solutions. Hi all, this is Dr. Girish here. I'm a surgical oncologist working at Aster CMI Hospital, Habal, Bangalore. I'll be speaking about breast cancer today. It's one of the commonest cancers in India and commonest cancers at least in Bangalore and all other metros. It's one of the leading causes of cancer-induced cancer mortality also. Sadly, being one of the commonest cancers, it's one of the commonest cancers to be treated better, to be detected earlier and to be put on palliation. But the thing is, people are less known about this and hence are on the wrong side of the treatment aspect. Usually it presents as a small lump, a non-painless lump in one of the breasts which have been suddenly noticed in the off late. Not a long history, a small history, suddenly the lump has appeared. It might be associated sometimes with nipple discharge. If neglected, the size increases, there may be some skin changes as if it looks as an orange peel, all those things would be considered as later conditions. Whenever there is a painless lump which has been there for a long time and it has been a recent notice has to be reported to the concerned your family physician or whoever treats you at your place and then from there it has to be carried on for, for further investigation and treatment. So breast reconstruction is definitely a very good option which can be done during the cancer treatment surgery itself or it can be planned after you complete whole of the course of the treatment. What I mean is after the surgery, chemo, radiation, even after that it can be considered. This can be done without surgery also if at all you don't want to do surgery. I mean the reconstruction part can be by using prosthetics also. So it's a whole lot of gamut of opportunities for reconstructions are available. After the surgery usually the histopathology report will mandate what surgery, what further treatment will be required with respect to whether radiation or chemotherapy or a combination of these two or further sequential hormone therapy will be required or not will be decided upon. Of course this will be a prolonged course not a small short hospital stay as in surgery for just about 2-3 days. These things will take a bit longer time. The chemotherapy might be just for about 24 hours in a hospital as a daycare setup but the frequency of the cycles all those things will be decided upon and usually a complete course of this may take about 4 to 5 months. The follow up will also be including simple blood test apart from the clinical examination and probably a yearly mammography will be required. Few radiological investigations will be required to whether see to see whether it has spread to any other organs or to know the status of the organs. Further, as we have already told, 